What does Islam say about terrorism? By all means, Islam does not promote or recommend terrorism. Let's discuss this matter by taking injunctions from the Holy Quran and what Prophet Muhammad had to say on this. God loves just dealers. Islam, a religion of mercy, does not permit terrorism. In the Quran, God has said, God does not forbid you from showing kindness and dealing justly with those who have not fought you about religion and have not driven you out of your homes. God loves just dealers. Don't kill women and soldiers. The Prophet Muhammad used to prohibit soldiers from killing women and children and he would advise them, do not betray, do not be excessive, do not kill a newborn child. And he also said, whoever has killed a person having a treaty with the Muslims shall not smell the fragrance of paradise though its fragrance is found for a span of 40 years. Murder is a major sin. Also, the Prophet Muhammad has forbidden punishment with fire. He once listed murder as the second of the major sins and he even warned that on the Day of Judgment, the first cases to be adjudicated between people on the Day of Judgment will be those of bloodshed. Be kind to animals Muslims are even encouraged to be kind to animals and are forbidden to hurt them. Once the Prophet Muhammad said, a woman was punished because she imprisoned a cat until it died. On account of this, she was doomed to hell. While she imprisoned it, she did not give the cat food or drink, nor did she free it to eat the insects of the earth. He also said that a man gave a very thirsty dog a drink, so God forgave his sins for this action. Reward The Prophet was asked, Messenger of God, are we rewarded for kindness towards animals? He said, There is a reward for kindness to every living animal or human. Not allowed, not recommended. In light of these and other Islamic texts, the act of inciting terror in the hearts of defenseless civilians, the wholesale destruction of buildings and properties, the bombing and maiming of innocent men, women and children are all forbidden and detestable acts according to Islam and the Muslims. Not following Islam if Muslims follow a religion of peace, mercy and forgiveness and the vast majority have nothing to do with the violent events some have associated with Muslims. If an individual Muslim were to commit an act of terrorism, this person would be guilty of violating the laws of Islam. If you like this video, please share it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.